If we took a batch of, say, 20 bolts and tightened each of the bolts to the same method, we would find that one of the bolts achieved a very high preload and uh, another one of the bolts will have achieved a lower preload and it gives you a spread of results across the 20 bolts. Now, the difference between the highest and lowest gives us our tightening accuracy factor. So in the case that we've selected here, the tightening method that we've selected here, this is torque on an unlubricated bolt. The lowest preload is just 48% of the highest preload we would obtain in that batch of 20 volts. It's quite a wide spread really, uh, and it affects our bolt analysis. So we should uh, need to look for a more accurate method of tightening. And you can choose one. Uh, you could choose to torque tighten lubricated bolts much better. You could choose an angle torquing or turn of the nut tightening. We could use load indicating washers or yield sensing wrenches. We could uh, measure the bolt elongation, that again is more accurate. Or we could use a, a hydraulic tensioning method, a specialist bolt that gives us a much more accurate uh, value of pretension or a much lower spread or a higher tightening accuracy factor is what we're looking for here. Or we could uh, use strain gauges or employ some specialist equipment like uh, an ultrasonic test machine. Or we could do some tests and use a user-defined value from tests. So in this case it would be the 0.65 that would be taken into the calculation if we selected that. So this time we've got the lowest preload is 65% of the highest preload.